Hello and welcome to another Buried Egg video. Today we're going to be repairing a ball socketed piston on Nekatoy's Atlas action figure from the video game Portal. This is going to be a little more unorthodox repair because the joint we're going to be repairing is so tiny and delicate. Um, but you might find that this technique that I'm going to show you is going to be applicable to quite a few other kinds of small joints like this. So uh, hopefully this is going to be a super helpful video. Now this little robot has some major articulation, very complex joints with lots of delicate pistons and articulation at almost every joint. I mean, I'm still, I feel like I'm still discovering things uh, that move on this robot, just really uh, complicated sculpt. Uh, so delicate, in fact, that I think many collectors who like to pose their figures, like me, are experiencing breakage. Uh, as is common with NECA as well as other companies like Hasbro's 6 inch Star Wars line, sometimes new joints sometimes need to be broken in. That's, that's normal for a lot of action figures. Uh, you can heat them up uh, if they're stiff right out of the box or you can flex them gently uh, until they ease up and articulate freely. Uh, well these pistons, uh, especially the ball socketed heads, are so small and detailed that I think either the factory glue or maybe even, maybe even the paint it itself is fusing them in some places and uh, like like glue it acts like glue and they just snap off when you try to articulate them at their intended joint locations okay so let's get to work uh, so right off the bat we see the arm is completely severed off right at the shoulder you see the four pistons there and right in the center there's obviously a fifth piston that's missing that piston is actually an, like an anchor it holds the entire arm structure onto the shoulder the other four pistons uh, are just there to, to telescope. They retract and extend freely, allowing movement. While the central piston doesn't telescope, it doesn't retract or extend, it's basically got two ball sockets, one on each end, uh, that anchor everything on. So without that central piston, uh, these other four, you see, uh, without that central piston, these other four will just allow the shoulder to just, the whole arm to just slide right off. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix both of those joints, the the two ball sockets. We're gonna come up with a, a clever replacement here. So what we wanna do is uh, take the hot glue gun here and uh, just make a little blob of uh, hot glue. You see what I'm doing here? I'm, I'm pushing it on. I'm pressing it. It's still hot. You know, quickly. You know, you have to work quick. So you push it on, but you don't push too hard. This is the trick. See, normally when you're gluing anything, you, the instructions always say apply you know hard pressure hold it for 30 seconds as hard as you can uh, with a clamp but in this case you want to just softly I don't know if you can see here if you can tell just by looking at this video but I'm softly push I'm gently pushing it down but not crushing it down like I normally would when I'm gluing something you want to have basically you want to create like a cushion of hot glue for the piston to rest on uh, and then and I'll explain why in a second um, so the next step here we're uh, we're taking the tweezers and we just want to clean up because we're going to want this thing to look nice and smooth like it, like it originally came from the manufacturer. We're basically creating kind of a soft bushing uh, for the piston to rest on. And so you want to have nice smooth uh, edges so the our glue job here blends in with the rest of the smooth piston. So the next thing we want to do is color the glue. We want to kind of paint the glue. So first thing is, you see how I'm clearing the other four pistons out of the way? I'm just kind of bending them out of the way. You don't want to paint them up. So I'm taking a marker here. Uh, this is a Sharpie, a black Sharpie. I wouldn't, I'm just trying to go fast and cheap. Uh, what you really should do, if you have hobby paints, like black hobby, black gloss hobby paint, probably it's better to use that than uh, a Sharpie. A Sharpie is always going to have that slightly purple, shiny, iridescent tinge. I don't know if you've ever noticed. So, uh, but yeah, I, uh, I think it's good enough for this. This is a tiny little area. So, so you can see we're just going all the way around the plastic piston with a pen and just painting the glue black all the way around and trying to get all those other uh, spots of plastic that were bro broken and look kind of white now. Just paint all that, those white spots black. Okay, and now we're ready to mount the arm on, back onto the shoulder. Uh, we're going to angle those pistons just right so that they meet up with the, the other ends of the pistons. And before we go ahead and slide everything back on, we're going to press upward on the central piston that we just glued so that and, you know just kind of angle it upward so that it meets up correctly with the other end waiting for it on the shoulder and then uh, and just slide everything right back into place and then before we start gluing the other end I'll show you here I'm gonna to use my thumb and forefinger to to hold down to apply pressure on the whole joint there while I'm using the screwdriver to angle the central piston upward 
and then hold it tight while we glue it. You see what I've done there? So we're gonna get a little bit of glue just like before. And just now I'm working on the back side, so it's not it won't be as visible if there's any imperfections. And I'm just kinda see I'm just gently kinda painting the glue on while it's still hot. I'm kinda running around with the just running the screwdriver around the back circumference of the uh, the joint. Uh, and just let it dry for a couple seconds. And then the same same as before, just go in there with the tweezers and clean up, just mop up a little bit. Uh, and then uh, same deal with the, uh, ma the uh, I was about to say magic marker, with the uh, Sharpie, just paint it up with a Sharpie or more appropriately with hobby paint. Maybe I'll go back and do that later, make it look a little more professional. And then here we are, looks like we're all done. Uh, look at the range of motion. I mean, it's, uh, it's identical to if it had been working fresh out of the box. Uh, the joint really does hold. The glue is just flexible enough to allow it to hold its pose. So in other words, not only does it have the same range of motion as, as the opposite unrepaired shoulder, but uh, it actually holds its pose. It bends outward, forward, backward, uh, and, and you can hold it in poses uh, just like uh, originally out of the box. Um, here you can look at the other shoulder here. It's, you can quite clearly see that uh, it's the same range of motion on both shoulders. So that's it. And all the rest of these poses that you'll be looking at from here all the way until the end of this video are the robot with the repaired shoulder. Just to show the full range of motion and posability of this, uh, this hot glue solution. Uh, now I really think that this hot glue fix is obviously not for everything, but for small delicate repairs involving 360 degree range of motion, uh, especially when the joints are too small to use pins or screws, uh, you know, to fabricate your uh, to fabricate a new hinge, for example, this is the way to go. Uh, so good luck on your repairs, and thank you again for watching. Too many